Hello everyone, we are in the United Kingdom today with Mark Gilbert, uh, one of the best, if not the best fanciers after the rest of this year. How are you, Mark? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> How was this year for you? Oh, it's been brilliant. Uh, yeah, it's been a really good year for us this year. We, uh, the sprint pigeons have been on, on, on form and our distance pigeons have been doing very well as well. Yeah, and we came here today to hear more about the legendary pigeon that won the Barcelona race in the UK was six national and of course the other results you had yes. so tell us a bit uh, uh, maybe highlights of this season yeah i mean um i think um well it won the sprint, sprint racing we've um, i think we've taken part in 15 federation races which is um uh, you know uh, 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 lots of clubs in the local area and we've we managed to top 13 of them and um, i think we were third and second in the other one so we've, they, they've been on fire really and then um, you know our main our main um, pigeons are distance pigeons, and we start with the internationals with them. And um, the first international we we were first national, sixth international. Uh, I had a pigeon on the day for I think it was about um, about near enough 15 hours, so it was a hard one. And um, and then the ne next race we had, there's a big UK national with the National Flying Club, and we 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 sent a big team of yearlings there. And we were third national, so and we start that we had about uh, I think five in the top 18, so we had a good result from there. And then obviously the um, the main one was Barcelona, which is um, well, I think the best marathon race in the world really. And um, we set, sent a team of 24, and um, and uh, we got one on the night, late at night. So I think there was about three minutes to go when the race closed, so it was really late in the dark. And um, yes, yeah, so I we were over the moon with her, you know. How was that moment? Were you here or? Yeah, yeah, we were. We were. <laughs> funny enough, um, we were sitting here waiting, and it was just getting dark. And I went for a walk out here, and as I did, I could see her come through the fields straight on line up the, over there. We could see a pigeon folding anyway, and um, but you know, we thought maybe it's a. You never know. Do it. it could be one that we lost previously, and it's come back <laughs> late at night. But uh, so it was great when we when we saw her hit the trap. She came to this loft here. And um, we could see it, we could be recognised the pigeon, so it was fantastic, you know. Yeah. So uh, since last year, you have been using uh, our products, started using our products, and this year you started using quite all the range. Yeah. Tell us a bit uh, how do you prepare the pigeons, especially maybe the ones you sent to Barcelona in yeah. the international yeah. races, in terms of motivation, uh, products, food. Right, no problem. I mean, um, we we um, we used um, Versalaga Superstar Plus as our base mixture. And um, and then um, when when we sent to the races, we think the recovery is really important. And um, we started using your products at the back end of last year, or some some products, and we really liked them. So we use the more the full range for recovery now. But the um, we use the amulet. It was it's over forty, is it? Yeah. Um, for recovery, so we have that in the water after the, every race for two days, and we use the um, protein plus. Your prote uh, the protein plus product because um, we think that you can damage the muscle and you need protein to repair the, the muscle and they recover really really quickly on your products so every race we, we use that for the sprint pigeons and the um, and the distance pigeons so that they're on two days of recovery as soon as they come back and um, and then um, we've been using your healthy oil in the middle of the week uh, with your detox product and um, for two or three days we put them on the detox products and we found that's really good they seem to really recover and they look great underneath and then um, and then the only, the only other thing we do we use um, the, the, uh, the oil again the healthy oil or, and um, we put your energy energy plus at the end of the week so for the sprint pigeons it's the last day but for the longer distance races um, we, we, we do that for four days and we obviously um, we use uh, Versalago energy plus and peanuts and the oil to increase the fat for the, the for the longer races and we think that's important because uh, they use that as a reserve for energy as they're coming home and yeah and uh, now you've got a san vincent race which is actually today yeah so the pigeons can come uh, today at yeah. time and then you got the young bird season which starts uh, right in a few weeks yes right, I suppose yeah so what's our what are your plans with that with the young pigeons are you racing all, all of them, all the races? Uh, yeah. How, how yeah well, we only race the sprint uh, middle distance pigeons in the in the right Yumbo racing, so we have them on dark. Our distance pigeons we don't put on dark, and we just train we tra we train them, and um, 
but last year's uh, we only we only we only trained them but this year I thought we're going to use more with the races because we think they learn more in the racing but we'll send them as trainers they won't have any ETS rings on them or and because um, they won't beat the sprint middle distance pigeons they're not quick enough to beat them and uh, they're obviously on dark and they're not so so they can't compete so we did we, we just try and find some federations that are taken as trainers okay unfortunately as you told me the pigeon from barcelona is already away yeah pair with another yeah. pigeon yeah so on your facebook and the pigeon that won the pow is now in the <laughs> race. Pigeon, yeah. but if you could show us around and maybe some good pigeons from the short distance yeah like yeah yeah with this yeah fine okay take a look we'll do i would take you to take you into the sprint middle distance loft so. So this is uh these will be the spin clocks really. But we've we've um yeah we've had a lot of injuries this year. But let's see if I can show you, they're a little bit different, you know. Um, he's been a good pigeon, but he's, he's got injured. He, he got injured last time, I thought. So, but he's a bit, bit smaller. Uh, th this is where my distance pigeons uh, are. We have um, we have three separate lofts for the old birds. It's this one here, and that that's number one, two, and the last one's three. And we have um, a section where we keep the hens and the cocks. Uh, so that the cock sections are one, these two here, and we we we, we race um, on roundabout um, for the first six or seven races. We've always raced in the past on roundabout, but this year we raced on roundabout for the first five or six races, and then we paired the pigeons. So, so they were on the nest. Um, okay. Barcelona pigeons were all on five-day-old babies, and the Poe pigeon was on 14 days on eggs. So we, pa we paired all the pigeons, and we found that they were very motivated this year, so we're going to continue to do that. So um, I'll show you um, inside this loft, and you can see how we keep the, the hens and the cocks. So our three distance lofts are all designed like this. Um, so we have a place where we keep the hens, and obviously the, we have the balls on the floor, so they're to not so they don't encourage to pair. So you know they normally they won't pair if you've got the balls on the floor, and it's important that you have the perches with the fit, with the back in, so you can't get two ends in one perch. So that stops them from pairing. So that, so obviously at the beginning of the year we pair them. They have a youngster. We split them and the uh, hens go into this section and we let them out uh, once a day um, for uh, probably an hour and a half we flag them or, or they fly normally only an hour and a half on their own and the cocks go out twice a day they go out for an hour in the morning and, 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 and an hour at night and so this year like I said we raced um, six or seven races on this system where they come back on the Saturday and they, they, they see each other and then, um, then for the long distance, we paired the pigeons. So they, the hens came back into the section where they were paired before. Okay. So this is this is this is each loft's the same, or pretty much similar. And uh, we would have about 30 cocks in here, probably, and 30 hens in each each section. So we we'll probably start with 180 pigeons at the beginning of the year. And I think we're down to about 90 now. So 80 or 90. So we've lost half the team. Well, but they've been to they've all been to one 900 kilometer 900 kilometer race the, every pigeon the yearlings everything's had a 900 kilometer race so that's where we are now
Mark. Thank you for having us here. Yeah. Hopefully you have a great result also today from San Vincent. Thanks for showing us around and hopefully we can come, uh, I don't know, faster than next year. Yeah. And we wish you good luck with the young pigeons. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks. And, and thank you for your support with the products. It's been great. Yeah. Thank you. And we send uh, our greetings to the ones that are watching at home. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye. Bye bye.